Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little call question minimum deletions to make character frequencies unique. A string S is called good if there are no two different characters in S that have the same frequency. Given a string S return the minimum number of characters you need to delete to make S good. So let's see the example. So you are given A, A, B. So output is zero because um, we don't have to do anything because the uh, um, frequency of each character A and B is already um, unique. So we have two A, two B, right? So that's why output is zero. And uh, let's see the example two. We have three A, three B, and two uh, C. So uh, this is uh, one of the example. If you delete two A, so in that case, um, each uh, frequency of each characters are unique. Like A is one, B is three, C is three, or uh, you can delete like uh, one B, one C, something like that. So, so that we can get uh, three A, uh, two B, and uh, one C. So that's why output is two in this case. Okay, so let me explain with uh, input string from example two. So like a three A, B, three uh, B, and a two C. So to solve this question, uh, we use a hash map and a set. And uh, I already count each frequency of each character and uh, store them to a hash map. Like a, a is three and B is three and C is two. And uh, this. Uh, unique set is used uh, used to store the unique frequency of characters. So I'll show you how to use later. And the count is um, when we delete the frequency, uh, reduce the frequency of some characters, every time we add plus one to count, and in the end, uh, this is a return value. So uh, let's begin. After creating a, a hash map, we iterate through um, like a one by one. And then now, so pick A, and the frequency is now three, right? And uh, this is a main point of algorithm. So frequency greater than zero, that's two, right? And the uh, frequency in a unique set, but uh, this is our first iteration, so set is empty. So in that case, we don't do anything. Just add this frequency to unique set three. And then move next. So now um, B, so B also three. And uh, let's check this condition. So frequency e is greater than zero. That's true, right? And uh, frequency in unique set. So now unique set has three, right? And uh, current frequency is three. So we can't do like a same frequency. So we need to uh, reduce current frequency. So that's why add minus one to current frequency, that is two. So we reduce uh, the frequency. So add plus one to count. And then we repeat this process until uh, we don't meet this condition. So now frequency equal uh, is greater than two, two, right? And the frequency now two in unique set. Uh, unique set has only three, so we don't meet this condition. So then after that, we just add two to unique set. So three, two. And then move next, so C. So our frequency is two, so two. And uh, two is greater than zero. That's true. And the uh, frequency in unique set. So two in unique set. Yeah, that's true, right? In that case, I'll uh, add minus one to current frequency. So that is one. So and then count plus equal one. So two. So we delete one b and one c, right? And then uh, check this condition again, uh, frequency greater than zero, that's true. And uh, one is in unique set, false, right? So out of uh, this condition, and uh, then add 
this one to unique set. And then move next, but there is no data. So all we have to do is just return this count, so two in this case. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, create a hash map. So characters, and I use counter and s. So in real interview, if you can't use counter, so you can do like this for character in s and uh, characters and c equal characters dot get and uh, c and the uh, default value is zero and uh, every time plus one. So something like that. But I use a uh, um, counter. So after that, um, unique set equals set and uh, count equals zero. And uh, start looking for brick in characters and uh, we need only values so value and then while freak is greater than zero and uh, freak in unique set in that case um, add minus one to freak minus equal one and add plus one to count plus equal one so after that, um, you add the current frequency to unique set. So unique set dot add and uh, freak. After that, just return count. Yeah, let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n. So we count frequency of each character and store them to hash map. So that's why. And the space complexity is, I think, 01. So we will not store more than 26 different frequencies because we have a constraint saying S contains only lower English letters. So it does not grow with length of input string or something. In the worst case, order of 26, so which means 01. Yeah, that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.